That poor Godzilla never had a chance. No. That thing's pretty impressive. I was pretty impressed with it. It's yeah, for like so. a F two fifty. Yeah, they're really good. I mean, <laughs> I don't. We'll we'll see. There's some other people doing it now, but we'll see. I just I, call it the I don't see the cylinder LT heads staying it. down for big power stuff, but we'll see. Somebody will yeah. figure it out. Cylinder head steel is the issue. Yeah, for sure. It is weird though because the dual overhead cam is so good to be like you know we're actually gonna now sell push rod stuff. Yeah, I thought well, that was a little weird too. I don't. But I they don't, they, I don't they, know yeah. why Ford did it, um, except for probably cost effectiveness. I mean, it's a and for, yeah. for an NA piece. Like you can build a pretty simplicity. nasty seven three. I feel like you can build pretty. Good oh yeah, motor. it's it's got like a four six thirty four space. So yeah, know. but you can make a pretty big motor out of one of them. NA yeah. racing is is tough. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. also expensive. Too. It doesn't saying, sound fun either. Yeah, I'd really prefer boost. Yeah, yeah. You know, like people like the NA stuff. All right, like it's kind of a interesting, like cool, like victory when you do it once, and then yeah. it's like all right got turbos for it now yeah, yeah. especially when you get to that point of like all out na racing it gets expensive and then you're gonna talk about valve train mm-hmm. stuff oh, that's yeah. where you really that's, that's i mean you're is. doing valve springs all the time on the here's thing. the thing though that godzilla it's a 60 millimeter cam core from the factory yeah well world cup has that na class where they have nitro hondas in there too yeah. and those things nitro hondas man yeah and things must come apart good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they actually stay per- together pretty good. Really? Yeah, that. Yeah, because they're NA, so yeah. they're not. Yeah, as, I, guess. I guess they're not as hard on them. But then they have like the the NMCA Mustangs in there yeah. that are NA too, and they like, on the chip. Yep, yeah. they hit them on the bumper, and then yep. they just kind of like. <laughs> the weird thing about nitro normally is like it doesn't. Li- it likes a lot of load. It doesn't really like RPM. Like hmm. if you look at naturally aspirated nitro like dragsters, they like sixty eight hundred RPM. Are they limited though? They're not limited. No. That's where they're happy. I don't know much about nitro. Yeah, you've had your feet <laughs> dipped in it just a little yeah, bit, right? I got lucky in, in a street car. Yeah. We should probably start experimenting with nitro. Uh, it's hard to burn from really. what I've seen. Yeah. All the tests of like, I don't trying know how to burn we it. did not explode that Silverado. I really don't. Just did start it? up on startup, like watching some of the stuff with nitro. Like they start them on alcohol, then they switch them to nitro. Mm-hmm. We were starting that thing on God knows how much percent of nitro. <laughs> yeah. They're only allowed to use like 90%, I think, in yeah. Yeah. most nitro I don't, classes. I have no idea what the mixture on that thing is. We had gotten it just right on that Silverado, and it mm-hmm. just worked. And yeah. it, That was like a five seconds of pouring to yeah. ten seconds of pouring. <laughs> I just kind of like, yeah, yeah playing with fuel stuff. I'm like, all right, the fueling seems good. We'll just start rolling some timing. And the amount of timing that thing took was insane. <laughs> yeah. What kind of power did it make? Did it, it was, was like it pretty 440 impressive? or something. It was a stock 5.3. Dude. It made like f- mid 400s at the tire. Serious. Uh, in second gear, like in a Silverado. It'd be pretty cool to see like, with cats. A, like a true <laughs> right, so give people, NA. Give people an idea. They would normally make like 280. Yeah. Yeah. Two, well, yeah, we did it. We, we did it on. Um, I in forget what it was on pump on gas, but yeah, with that that truck on methanol only, made mm-hmm. three hundred wheel, mm-hmm. and then we started mixing nitro, and it made a, I want to say almost five hundred. I think it was like four seventy or something like that. They're doing a nitro versus the world at the reunion. I heard something race. about that. Is that for Hondas or what it's is that? A Honda like, class, but there's some six cylinders that fit, and a bunch of front wheel drive fit. It's kind of a weird class of like what it a very fits long in. Race. Yeah, some nitro Hondas. Anything front wheel drive. Extends your racing day. There's two front wheel drive classes too, oh, so okay. That's great. maybe we can petition for them to race on Saturday. Yeah, they, they get their own Sunday. day. Yeah, <laughs> it's like roll racing at TX2K. I feel can like you they're guys getting, race on Monday. Yeah, I feel like they're getting better though, because it used to be like, oh great, you know, front wheel drive class, they're just gonna break every car, and it was like that for a while. Now I feel like they're getting a little bit better, but it's still like those things were not meant to do what they're doing. They've yeah. progressed a lot. Yeah, and they're really. Impressive now. They make a lot of them. Stupid power out of them, little motors. But then they all seem like they do some things that are like, it. It almost seems like it developed not alongside other drag racing, where, like, yeah, you know, they they, they didn't look at like pro mods and like mm-hmm. how we kind of look at like other cars and we're like, oh, yeah. you could just do this on a street car. They almost kind of were like, no, we develop on our own. Yeah, they had to go through thing, their own yeah. growing pains instead of like steal information from other classes. Are these people that are making like two thousand horsepower with these these Honda motors? Are they stock blocks? A nah. lot of them are billet. Yeah, they're billet. Some are filled. I don't know a lot about the Honda making game. like five hundred horsepower per hole is is insanity. For I mean, mine's like fifteen hundred horsepower on a six cylinder, so not yeah. quite as much. You know, maybe sixteen hundred, seventeen hundred. Yeah, anytime, even. 
you get 250, 300 horsepower pull hole, you're starting to mm -hmm. And then something. per liter. You yeah, know, what are you, a three and a half liter? Um, three liter. Three liter. Yeah, and they're like two. Yeah. <laughs> they can have much power. Yeah, that one girl just went like 190 something at TX2K. Guys, thank you for tuning in to the Bogetti Clips YouTube channel. For the full podcast, check us out on Bogetti Studios YouTube and all your audio platforms. Also, hit that subscribe button to not miss out on any of the new Bogetti Clips coming up.